Private queue is an abstract data type that behaves similarly to the normal queue, except that each element has some priority. That is, the element with the highest priority would come first in a priority queue. The priority of the elements in a priority queue will determine the order in which elements are removed from the priority queue. The priority queue supports only comparable elements, which means that the elements are either arranged in an ascending or descending order. Hello learners, I welcome you to all to the tutorial of the priority queue in data structures. My name is Gaurav and welcome to Create Learning. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any new updates or video releases from Create Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video, any queries or suggestions and I will also respond to your comments. So let's start with priority queue. So here, it is an abstract data type in which each element is having some priority. So abstract data type is a data type whose behaviors are defined by set of operations, right? So here, in priority queue, each element will be having some priority. Coming to the next point, here we are having higher priority element will get served first as compared to low priority element and also higher priority elements will remove from the priority queue first. Next point we are having that comparable data is supported by priority queue. So what do you mean by comparable data here? So whatever the data you are inserting into a priority queue, it must be able to follow either in ascending or descending order. So now coming to the last point here you can see that for same priority elements inserted first will get served first. Uh, let's take an example suppose there is an data element of 200 and here it's uh, 400 right and they are having the same priority. Now you might have a question then which element will be inserted first then in the case of same priority it will follow the queue that means the element which is inserted first will get served first that means FIFA order first in first out. Let's suppose that 200 and 400 are having the same priority, but 200 is inserted first, right? So here 200 is inserted first, so it will be getting served first, right? So this is the basic idea about the priority queue. For the same order, the elements which is inserted first will get the higher priority. Let's see an example. So here let's suppose that I'm having this priority queue and here the values are in ascending order. So that means it will start from 2, 5 then I am having 13 and then 22 33 56 and then after that I am having 67 right so let me count this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so total I am having 7 values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right and here the priority is from least to greatest that means my two number is having the highest priority right and as I told you the number which is having the higher priority will remove first right. So here before coming to the operations let's see what are the operations that are involved in priority queue. So here we are having two operations the first one is poll. So poll is used to remove the element which has the highest priority in the priority queue right. So here in this example 2 is having the highest priority right. So 2 will be removed first. Now the next function is add. So inside this add function, it is used to insert the X element in the priority queue. Let's suppose that here, if I'm writing here, add three, then it will add three in my priority queue. So in this way, poll and add functions work, right? Now let's see the example. Here, what I will do first, first I will write here poll, right? So here you can see that poll function is used to remove the element, which is having the highest priority in priority queue. So my two will be removed right now what I will do after poll function I will add 3 here so after adding 3 now my new priority queue will be 3 5 13 22 33 56 67 now if I want to remove the element then which element is having the highest priority 3 right because I am following the order from least to greatest. So my least value will have the highest priority. So here now 3 will be having the higher priority. So if I am writing once again poll, then 3 will be removed, right? And then after that, once again, if I am writing poll, then my 5 will be removed, right? 
so after that if i am writing add 7 then my new priority queue will be 7 5 13 22 33 56 67 and then again if i am writing here pool then you can see that 7 will be removed so in this way the priority queue works now if i want to remove all the elements so what i will do i will write here pool operation again again and again so my final priority queue will be having 2 3 5 7 13 22 33 56 and 67 so these all elements will be removed from the priority queue so this was the basic idea about the priority queue now we will see types of priority queue so we can have priority queue either in descending order or in ascending order so let's see in ascending order so as in ascending order i have already showed you the example right in which the values are arranged from least to the greatest right so in ascending order lower the element or you can say the smaller the value will have the higher priority right so here the key point is that lower value will be given as higher priority so this is the higher priority right highest priority is given to 8 why because lower the value is here so you can see that 8 15 22 27 78 so it is going from least to greatest and also i have told you right that if you want to remove the elements the element which will be having the higher priority will remove first so here if you want to remove the element 8 will be the element which will be removed first right now coming to the descending order here bigger values will be given as higher priority so here you can see that it's falling from greatest to least values right you can see that the values is 78 65 52 27 18 so it is following descending order so here 78 will be having the highest priority so if you want to remove the element then 78 will be the first element which will be removed from this priority queue so this was the, all about the basic idea about the types of priority queue now let's see the representation of priority queue from list so here you can see that this is a list right so this is a data element list and here i am having the priority number okay so i have given the priority number here 4 2 1 3 2 right now let's see that how can we create a priority queue here so here as you can see that i have assigned the priority number so always remember that the lower the value of priority number will be having the highest priority right so here one will be having the highest priority then we are having the two and then we are having three and four right so this is the priority order lower the priority number will be served as first now let's suppose that insertion of elements has been done in this order first eight has been inserted then 15 then 22 then 27 and 78 right so i'm writing the insertion order let's suppose 0 1 2 3 4 right that means 8 has been inserted first then 15 22 27 and 78 now let's see so what do you mean by priority queue so according to the definition of priority queue the number which is having the highest priority will be served first right so here you can see that here the priority number is one right so one is the lowest number and it will be having the highest priority right so the data element which is associated to one is 22 so i will create here a node and then i will write here 22 and then i will write here one and then i will create a link which will contain the address of the next node after one my priority will be two right but here you can see that in priority two there are two elements 15 and 78 right so what will be the correct order as i told you that if we are having the same priority then it will follow the first in first out right that means the element which will be getting served first will get out from the first from priority queue right so here as i told you that let's say the insertion has been done from this side that means 15 has been inserted first then 22 27 and 78 right so here you can see that 15 is the element which is inserted first right so here i will write here 15 and then 2 now after that i will write here 78 and then 2 so in this way my priority queue will form right now after 2 what will be my priority so my priority number 3 will be having the highest priority and the element associated with this is 27 so i'll write here 27 and the priority number is 3 and then after this at last i am having the least priority that is 4 so i'll write here 
the data elements that is 8 and the priority number is 4 right so this is my creation of priority queue using list and here you can write one more node and then you can write here start so it's the starting point so this is the overall representation of priority queue if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet i want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any new updates or video releases from great learning if you enjoy this video show us some love and like this video knowledge increases by sharing so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues make sure to comment on the video any queries or suggestions and i will also respond to your comments